So I have not spent that long here, but I made a few things. So I made some hand-built jars. Let me show you very quickly. This and then the lid has little fishies on the grip. I don't want to touch them because they're flat, but I made two of those and then I need some fish shaped trays. And I am currently waiting on this throne mug to get leather hard so that I can add, well not fully leather hard, but almost, um, so that I can add the handle to it. But I just worked for like an hour in here and now I'm gonna go back and make lunch because I'm starving. So before we can continue with the video, I wanted to talk a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. And all of the lessons are designed by real language teachers, which is really amazing and I feel like kind of rare to find. I personally decided on learning French, so I actually took French for four years in high school and I wanted to use the app as a little bit of like a refresher slash maintenance for my French. Uh, it's been about five years since I graduated high school, so I haven't really practiced French out in the world, so this is a really nice way that I can like keep up with it. And Babbel really focuses on teaching you real life conversations, so stuff that you would use actually and apply them in your life like relationships, travel, work, etc. Now I right now am refreshing a little bit of my basics so I am learning some vocabulary right now that has to do with like clothes and stuff so I'm learning all about le pull, you know, like my sweater. So yeah, if you're interested in Babbel, you can access it through desktop or through mobile. And if you use my link down below, you can get 60% off your subscription. And now we can get back into the video. Just some rest to need An escape from the world And let's escape the world Am I in the high Are you bouncing Up and down Excuse me, Miss Cleaning. I need to sit in my chair Excuse me Excuse me, Miss Clemmy. I'm sorry. I need to sit in my chair. Go, Kimmy. I have to edit a Instagram reel. This is my first sponsored Instagram reel that I've ever done. And a lot of you guys ask me where I edit my reels or my TikToks. And I use Final Cut Pro 10 for the iPad. I actually got a new iPad just to be able to do that. Uh, crazy, I know. But I actually, I really love editing short form videos on here. Plus I love that I can do it like on the go. So yeah, I'm gonna be editing an IG reel and that should be all I have in my agenda because in the morning, I very briefly went to the pottery studio um, and I'll be going back a little later and yeah, all I have left for today is preparing a, the wagon, my market wagon, for a market that I have tomorrow. Almost hurting Like you are Like you are in me Like you Fibers in my holy body You are, you are in me Crazy You are, you are in me You are, you are in me 
forgot to ask you to bring my battery. I forgot to ask you to bring my battery. Guys, don't look at me. <laughs> now I don't even know what I was gonna say. Oh. Let me talk and you can mouth over it. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so after yesterday's trimming issues, I finally built my little trimming holder thing. And I also realized that I got the bigger size on accident. I meant to get the smaller one, but that's okay. It will still do the job. But yeah, yesterday I was just like not feeling the trimming and I don't really like trimming anyway, but I had to fill in some cracks in those pieces that I trimmed. Um, it's just the method of like using clay to adhere your piece to the wheel is not very good and I've always had issues with it. I don't know if I just don't do it right even though I press the clay in really hard. Um, I've always had issues and I've always had pieces going flying. Uh, but yeah, I also had to fill in cracks, like I said, under all of them essentially. And it's drying out and it's starting to kind of crack again. So we'll see if these survive the kiln. And I've also noticed that the clay without gro the grog, cause I have the same clay with and without grog is so much softer and so much more delicate um, because it cracks a lot more easily. And just like whenever I was throwing with it, it was just excessively soft. So I have to really watch how much water I use, I think next time. What is that? Is it? But yeah, I just came here to set up my hooks and to assemble my little quick trim. Trying to put it in the basket. Oh. Yarn haul time. So I went to go pick up some more yarn for some patterns that I recently bought that I want to make. And it's because all the colors that I have left now, for the most part, I don't have enough of the colors to make like bigger projects. So I would have to use those for like granny squares and stuff like that. So I had to come get, had to come get uh, yarn for bigger projects. But I picked up another 
white mohair because I have some left over and I just really love mohair. I picked up three gray, I think they're wool, but they're kind of mohair-ish, which is awesome. And then I picked up that same yarn, but in this pastel green, this light green, I wouldn't say pastel, but like a very light muted green. And then I picked up another one of these hand dyed ones because again, I have some here, but I don't have enough of it to make something with it. So I picked up another one and then I picked up a bunch of yarn for a sweater that I'm going to make. Um, and the pattern is by Made in the Moment and it's the Wave Sweater. I think it's like their most popular pattern but it's basically gonna be half one color, half another color. And I picked out this like deep blue for one half and then this army green for the other half, just cause like, I like how they're the same brightness. They're just like a different hue and it kind of like makes like a ugly color combination, which I'm into. So yeah, I picked up quite a bit of yarn. Now I've got to reorganize it into my shelves, but this wraps up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been having a lot of fun vlogging again and filming again because I kind of got out of it, but I'm having fun getting back into it and showing you guys what I've been up to lately. I have just like so much more time the last two weeks, which has been really nice. And tomorrow and probably in the next vlog, I'm gonna have so much sketchbooking because I am ready to dive back into my sketchbook. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for getting to the end if you're at the end. And I will see you guys in the next one.